Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan and I run the tennis channel Tennis with Dylan. Today I'm going to be showcasing some match play between two top national juniors and I'm going to be taking you through some video analysis of their game, uh, the pros and cons of what they are doing on court and maybe also how they can improve themselves. Hey guys, so I've collated a range of different points play videos that you guys can follow along and let me know your thoughts as I go through some of these points play. So what you can tell immediately from both the players is they're very competent from the baseline, they're very aggressive, they look to take on the ball a lot. And this is one factor that I highly encourage a lot of young juniors and adults to try to partake in, in being the aggressor in the rally. If you're someone that's looking to wait for the balls to come towards you, to be the counter puncher and just get the ball in, and that can work partly up to a decent level but as you can see for these young juniors they're playing at a very high national level and they're looking to try to instigate and dictate with their big shots so as you can see young boy sam over here he's hit a very good second serve wide followed up with the attacking offensive forehand a lot of these points are pretty short so they're very short and punchy and this is typical in the tennis world Ideally, rallies are not that long. It's usually the serve return and then a couple shots after. Around 70%, I would say, are between the rallies of one to four shots. Having said that, there are also some very long rallies too, as you'll see in this next point just here. What you're trying to focus on in this rally is staying cross court a little bit longer, being patient. And Sam on the front side is looking to dictate and hit as many forehands as he can. This is one of his biggest assets in his game. And you can tell by the other player, Teo, that he's just trying to stick in the point. And now he's actually turned it around to where he's a bit more offensive. So the amazing thing is that you're able to change from defense to offense sometimes. And this can be very uh, helpful in helping you to dictate in rallies. Unfortunate miss there on the last forehand, but a great point overall. As you can see from a block return, the ball lands a little bit shorter. Sam looks to step up the court and start dictating. Nice little touch when coming towards the net, but unfortunately that went a little bit wide. He tried a little bit too much. I would highlight the points of making sure that you add a little bit more variety in your game as well. You can see a little drop shot to lob combo as well from Sam. It's very important also to keep your opponents guessing. By doing typically the same thing from staying at the baseline and rounding the ball, your opponent can gather a little bit of confidence in sticking in the rallies and therefore then going to know what is going to happen. So it's very predictable. What you can see here is once you get pushed a little bit wider than the orange court, you're able to challenge your opponent a little bit more. I tend to see that a lot of the players drop the ball shorter. So if the ball is dropped slightly shorter, then your opponents are easily able to dictate when stepping down the court. Let's have a look at this point just here. As you can see, they're both rallying, staying in the rally. Good, pretty, pretty good length, I must say. They're hitting the ball beyond the service line consistently, trying to maneuver each other around. And as you can see here, with Sam coming up with that nice backhand cross that Sam just gets to the ball. It's a great rally overall and a lot of fun to watch these points as well too. In terms of the actual quality throughout the sessions, it will start to waver and you may notice sometimes when the juniors or adults are competing, they might get a little bit more tired and fatigue can start to kick in. So having like some snacks or energy drinks as well can help you to boost your level to maintain throughout. Also, the mental mind starts to waver as well, especially when the duration of matches extends. I love the points here when Teo is coming forward to the net, trying to dictate and take time away from Sam. Sam's doing an amazing job at defending as well. And this is a lovely backhand down the line finish, as you can see from the start of the intro video. You are enjoying these types of videos when seeing a lot of match play, then please be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos to come. I'm a big believer in working on the serve and return. As you can see here, Sam hits a deep ball down the center of the court, pushing Teo back, forcing an error. It's very important to have an effective first serve, as well as being able to be more offensive on the second serve return. If you're able to work on these two aspects of your game, it's definitely going to help you in the match play. Here is another fun point of the young juniors when playing on their points play. As you can see, Sam's got himself back into the point after a good return, and then he's trying to dictate again, trying to use his forehand as much as he can, looks to come into the net, 
and he could have done a little bit more with this backhand. He chose to chip it in, which was a little bit too slow, and therefore played a fun little hot dog. But unfortunately, it was all down to the finishing points when he was close to the net. If he was able to dictate and just sit the ball into a little wider area of the court, he would have put this opponent under more pressure. Really like this point here when Sam's looking forward to take charge at the net and then dictate with a volley. Very effective strategy. I have been encouraging both of them to come to the net a lot more, so I'm not negative towards this type of point. I just think the volley could have done a little bit better, especially when opening up the court, let's say. Especially going to your opponent's forehand and approaching. Again, coming forwards to the net, Sam could have possibly made that ball, but again, Teo's putting him under pressure, not from actually the strike of the ball, but with his body weight moving forward, so it looks kind of intimidating when the opponent's actually running towards the net and putting him under a little bit of that mental pressure. Again, nice little rally ball drops a little bit shorter, but you can see that the ball's going quite low sometimes as well. So the speed of the ball means you can't really always attack when it's down low by the knees. So you have to make sure that you stay stable, bending those knees nice and low when helping you on those ground strokes. Here are a last few points from the guys when playing. As you can see, they're showing a nice little bit of variety in their own game. And this is very important going forwards as they build on when they turn 16, 17 and 18 and onwards, either wanting to go to college, to play college tennis or play in the pros. We're also going to give you a little bit of their own personal thoughts as well coming up very soon. Hey guys, so I'm here with Teo and Sam and they're national juniors uh, playing a lot of matches and tournaments right now. They're currently in their probably off-peak season now, right? You guys are just finishing a little bit of school studies before the Christmas break. In terms of the tennis, how do you guys feel today when both of you are playing? So, do you have your mics? Do you have your mic? Yeah. Hold it, Rod. How do you speak at the time? You can go first. So, um, I thought I played very consistent today. Didn't make too many errors. Um, tried to move in where I could. But um, one thing I need to focus on, I think, is trying to create more angle on my shots. Sometimes I play a bit too central, causing me to just defend. So, um, yeah, one thing to work on for me. Okay, great. Uh, I think I started a bit slow at the beginning, just missing a bit too many balls on four stairs, but then as I got into it, I was much better making shots, coming to the net, being more aggressive, That's and putting points away. Yes. I'll ask you guys a question as well. Well, you can keep, keep that as well. So one quick question before we wrap everything up is what's one thing that you guys are looking to build on in your game in the future, maybe in just training or for your mind? So a lot of the mental things on court. What would you say? In my game? Yeah, mentally or physically. I'll go first. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to work on staying focused in the big points, not checking out and going for like a down the line win or something like that. Just staying consistent cross court with margin, yeah. One thing mentally I need to work on is not not getting too frustrated. So staying calm, staying in the moment. Um, if, even if I lose a point, just stay positive next point. Not, not bogged down too much. Um, try, try to not get my mental side to affect my game. Just wanted to touch up on the last few points of both the guys, the 14 and 15 years old, already talking about how important the mind is, making sure you stay focused uh, in the present moment. So appreciate that guys today, well done. And I'll see you guys next week. Just finished the match play session of Teo and Sam. It was a great session and good to see them playing a lot of match play every week, getting to see them develop their own game and improving on certain elements as well, not only what they're doing uh, tactically and physically on court, but also improving their mind as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in future videos to come. Take care guys.